Since the start of the new millennium, there have been five Mongolians to achieve the highest rank in sumo wrestling. These men are given the honorific title of Yokozuna and are seen as the grandmasters of sumo wrestling, becoming the public face and representation of the sport as a whole. For a non-Japanese to be the ultimate reflection of Japan's national sport definitely spurs some degree of debate. Especially when Mongolians specifically seem to be more successful than their Japanese counterparts have been in the top ranks for the past 20 years. And the reason behind the Mongolian sumo domination could actually be best explained through this 20-year-old sumo wrestler, ring name Hokuseiho, a Japanese sumo wrestler born to Mongolian parents. While the typical depiction of a sumo wrestler in popular media is a slow-moving, massively overweight person, the athletes you see in the top ranks of professional sumo today no longer reflect this common perception. In fact, putting on massive amounts of weight for a tactical advantage was only an effective trend for a small portion of time in comparison to the overall 300-year history of professional sumo. The peak of this trend was in the 1940s and slowly declined over the years, until the 2000s where weight wouldn't really guarantee success anymore. Instead, according to the stats, height had always had a tremendous effect on the likelihood of a sumo wrestler winning in matches. Since the 1900s, a taller sumo wrestler has been more likely to consistently win in a sumo wrestling match. And this is where the Mongolians come in with their genetic physical advantage. Mongolians who enter sumo wrestling tend to be significantly tall, as evidenced by the current Mongolian title holders from the rankings released in September 2022. All of them are taller than 6 feet. And if we list the Japanese in the same ranks, their height varies greatly. Not saying that they lack in height, but in comparison, the Mongolians who enter sumo tend to possess that height advantage that has been statistically proven as a factor to a sumo wrestler's success. Now, Hokuseiho is 6 foot 7 inches, which means he is at least 15 centimeters taller than the average sumo wrestler and taller than anyone who is currently at the top ranks of sumo. His incredible wingspan enables him to easily grab the belt or mawashi of his opponents and use this to push them out of the ring. Used against the average wrestler in sumo's lower divisions, it's no surprise he was able to take every division championship as he climbed up to sumo's salaried ranks, becoming only the fifth wrestler in sumo's history to do so. But it's not just because he's tall that makes him a promising sumo wrestler. As said earlier, height, although an advantage, can only get you so far. Actually, it can only get you to at least the top division. Looking at the other side of the coin, short wrestlers could still do very well in the top divisions because of their technical advantage. Small sumo wrestlers like Midori Fuji, Tobizaru, and even Takakesho, who possesses sumo's second highest titled rank, are all technically savvy wrestlers who have mastered their own brand of wrestling. But technique is the unique brand of the Mongolian Yokozuna. Haruma Fuji, one of the lightest sumo wrestlers ever to reach the highest rank in sumo, was known for his impeccably executed throws and lifts. Hakuho was also known to have the smartest defensive techniques. Asashoryu had his tactical offense, and Kakuryu was a master of the tachiai, or sumo's initial clash. Mongolians' special affinity for hand-to-hand -hand combat could be attributed to the country's most popular sport, 
balk, or Mongolian wrestling, which is practiced almost everywhere and by anyone in Mongolia from young to old. So transitioning to another ancient form of wrestling is second nature to Mongolians, and most of them adapt techniques and balk to their own brand of sumo. But for Hokuseiho, who moved to Japan when he was five, he has the cultural understanding of both wrestling traditions, coming from having Mongolian parents and growing up in Japan. His unique connection to both countries could have been the reason why the great sumo wrestling champion Hakuho urged him not just once, not twice, but three times to pursue sumo wrestling. In turn, Hokuseiho was able to train in the most prestigious schools with the best sumo wrestling programs on his recommendation. And this early start at sumo training had him promoted to the salaried ranks and the second topmost division in sumo while still in his teens. So far, the 20-year-old Hokuseiho is sometimes clumsy, sleepy, and a bit passive in the doyo but he has ranked well for only his 11th tournament as a professional sumo wrestler, although he sustained some knee damage in November 2021, and this usually does not bode well on any sumo career. It helps that his mentor knows a thing or two about managing a bad injury. Actually, he knows a lot about it. If I were to list the physical components of the perfect wrestler, I'd give him a good height, thick muscle density, agility, and a sharp fight sense. But to make a great Yokozuna, it's not just a matter of winning the genetic jackpot. It's about the drive and perseverance to reach that coveted rank. According to the maths, Hokuseiho has a great probability to reach the rank of Yokozuna. But only he can truly make a good play with the great hand that's been dealt to him. Unlike Hokuseiho, a lot of us didn't grow up with Bok or Sumo and had to learn everything we can elsewhere. And as my long-term viewers might know, I didn't grow up editing videos either. It's a skill that I have worked long and hard on, and I love seeing how much I've progressed. A big part in my journey was this week's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare was actually the first sponsor of the Sumo Stew channel, and when they approached me, it was because they could see that, like an up-and-coming Rikishi, the channel had potential and room to grow. I took the course Advanced Video Editing with Adobe Premiere Pro by Jordi Vandiput, and it helped my videos go from this explain what this controversy is all about and hope to explain what exactly an elder stock is and why is it so important to this. If you stick to the basics, there are two ways to win a sumo match. It helped me get more ideas for creative transitions and how to present my video essays in an engaging and entertaining manner. So you can see that it is true when I say that Skillshare offers thousands of classes that have the chance to take your passion to the next level. Whether you love photography, want to boost your career, or you're looking to become the next YouTube Yokozuna, Skillshare is a way to invest in yourself ad-free. And speaking of free, the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description box below will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. So expose yourself to something new, to something you've always wanted to try, or something you've just been curious about. Maybe you'll end up being the best at it.